Okay, so this is the second video in this series of how to turn your listening center into a QR coded listening center instead of using the CD CDs. The first video showed you how to take your audio CDs and change them into an MP3 format. Now I'm going to take you back um, to that MP3 file and show you how to upload it to Google. Um, there's some limitations on this video um, recording software that I'm using. So um, basically you're going to drag and drop from your file that has your audio file into your Google Drive. Um, you do need to have a Google Drive already set up in order to do this. Um, it's just a way uh, to store your photo, photos and videos and audio files as well, all your other files. Fortunately, our school just recently switched to Google, um, so we have unlimited storage. That's the other benefit of having a school account. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you because this is how I set mine up. There may be other um, ways to do it. Basically, you just need to get that MP3 file up online that you can publicly share in a file that you control. So let's go ahead and switch back to where the um, file was in our last video. So we're over here in Mr. Duck Means Business. Right here it is. What I like to do, and this is something that you won't be able to see because of the limitations of the video um, file that I'm using, is I try to set up this window very small so that I can also see my Google Drive window um, right next to it. That makes it easier to just drag and drop it. I'm going to go ahead and switch over. Let me move to this to the side. Switch screens so that you can see the Google screen. My Google Drive, I've already signed into. Um, we have a special sign in with our school corporation that they've set up. And here you can see all my apps. One of the apps that you probably see is that I have two QR code generators, and we'll get that in the next video. But uh, there's a way to search for those, they're free that you can add to um, your Google apps. Um, Anyway, I'm going to go right into my drive because this is where we're going to move that file. One of the things you want to think about is the location that you want to put these files in. Um, I'm going to just make a new folder and you hit new, folder, and I'm going to call it QR codes for training. Since I already have these uh, QR codes already uploaded, I want to be able to get rid of them after these training videos. So QR codes for training, you might want to call it your listening center QR codes, whatever name you come up with, name the folder. Click OK. You'll see that it highlights it in blue here. Now this is a very important step. You need to be able to publicly share these QR codes. So therefore you have to change the setting on your screen. I'm just going to make this larger. I just realized I didn't make it large for you. Sorry about that. So I made my new. I clicked new, did the folder, named it, and put it right here. All right, going to right click and it says share. Click there and it's going to load this share with others box. Now I'm not going to want anybody to edit it. And I'm not going to worry about this right here. I want to go down here in the corner where it says advance. Click there. Right now, it's private. Only I can see it. It tells me who the owner is. And then I can invite people to edit, but this is not one file I'm going to invite anyone to edit. But I can change that this address right here, this is the web address that the folder is at. I can change that to be public on the web. This way, when my kids have their QR readers, they are going to be able to go there. So I change it to public. That seems to be the best way to go because there's no sign in required. The whole point of a QR code is so that our young students do not have to keyboard anything in. Once I've selected this, I hit save. Okay, now you can see that it changed 
public on web, anyone on the internet can find and view. And I'm going to go down here and click done. Again, I'm the only one who's allowed to edit it, so no one can go in there and change anything. Now that I have my folder set up, you can see that it's in a list with a whole bunch of folders. Before I can drag my um, MP3 fi file over here, I wanna open the file. So now there's no files in this folder, but I can look up here and see my drive, QR codes for training, and this is where I wanna drop them. It says drop files here, because that's literally what you're going to do. Slide this over. And I'm going to switch back to the file where my MP3 is. So let me get that back up on here. And this is the part where you're not going to be able to see exactly what's going on. But basically, I'm going to click on this. It's going to be selected with the check mark. It's highlighted. And you see how I can move that? And it pops up the headphones. As I do that, and I drag it over to my Google Drive, it is going to show a drop files to instantly load. Now I'm just gonna plop this down here and switch my screen so you can see that. Sorry that I can't get them side by side. Could not figure that out on this program, but hey, it's free. All right, so now you should be able to see my Google Drive. I'm gonna come over here Grab that file like I did. I'm now seeing the headphones. You're probably not seeing them. But now you should see the drop files to instantly upload them. All I do is release that left click. And you are going to see that is it upload is already complete. It's such a small file that it completes it pretty quick. Then it pops into that file. It, or I'm sorry, it pops into the folder. So if I go back to my drive, and I find that QR code for training, which it moved it down by alphabetical, and I open up on this folder again, there it is. So that is step one. You're gonna want to do that with each one of your MP3s. Remember I recommended that you just load all your MP3s first, and then drag them over from your file on your desktop to your Google Drive. If you notice, Google Drive used that saved title than I did in the first video. Remember, this said turn um, with page signals, and that's not gonna help me know what book audio this is, so we changed it to the title, Mr. Duck Means Business, .mp3. So that's how to get them up into the Google Drive. The next video will show you actually how to create a QR code and save it so you can put it on a label that links directly to this audio file. So hopefully, um, so far, I've answered your questions. Um, if you have questions about these steps, please put it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks a lot.